Hello, I'm Joel Hargis with the Florida Aviation Network. Today we are in beautiful DeLand, Florida at the DeLand Sport Aviation Showcase. And looking around here, we always try to find something cool and unique. And I'm here with Andy Chan to talk about the Pipistrel Velis. That's correct, the Pipistrel Velis. The Pip Pipistrel Velis. And, and I know I breed aviation stuff all the time, Andy, and, and uh, there's more and more talk about electric airplanes. Absolutely. And this is one. It is. It's the world's first and only certified electric airplane. Wow. And now, again, first certified electric, but that's not in the U.S. yet. That is correct. This aircraft is EASA certified, and in countries that uh, reciprocate with EASA, which is several around the world, the Velis is fully certificated. In the U.S., we're still waiting on the FAA to allow for the use of electric aircraft uh, for commercial purposes, including flight training. All right. So, yeah, so I, I think every pilot's concern, you know, when they hop in an electric airplane and take off is, how long can I fly safely? Excellent question. And there's certainly still limitations to the technology. The Velis is designed primarily as a trainer for use in the traffic pattern. With that in mind, it has an electric uh, flight time of about 50 minutes to an hour with a VFR reserve. And how much reserve is in that? That would be 30 minutes of flight time as required by FAA regulations. Okay. So, yeah, 50 minutes to an hour. You certainly, you know, I can tell you when you take a flight list and you go up for more than an hour, it, it's too long. You know, <laughs> you're done. Your brain times out right so so that's about right yeah for a lot of students 45 minutes is the perfect time in the traffic pattern yep that sounds about right to me and so um so how many horsepower is this is it surely got a horsepower rating right yeah so roughly the equivalent is uh, 80 horsepower or so which is more than enough for this all carbon fiber extremely efficient aircraft right all right so 80 horsepower sure it's a two-place aircraft and and of course fuel is not a factor so what kind of useful load does it have andy so you're looking at about 450 pounds of useful load uh, uh -huh. which is which is respectable uh, our gas equivalents have a little bit more useful load because the gas uh, power plants are a little bit lighter um so but it's still a pretty good useful load so yeah so the main weight in this is the battery Obviously, that is correct. Right? Yes, the motors, uh, the motor itself represents a small proportion, percentage-wise, of the weight of the aircraft. And and the battery makes up the most of the, the most of it. All right. So, um, so in a battery, I mean, I know even in you know electric cars and things, the battery has a lifetime. I'm sure, in the certification, the the time of that battery is. How, how, how many hours? Excellent question. So the Velis is designed with a one-to-one -one replacement in mind for flight schools. So flight schools and aircraft owners are already used to a 2,000-hour TBO. Right. That has an expense, a cost associated with it. And the target is for this whole system to have a 2,000-hour life to the batteries and a similar replacement cost as a Rotax, Continental, or Lycoming overall. Okay. That makes sense. And, and how about the electric motor itself? Is it... The electric motor itself uh, does have uh, a TBO as well, um, but it's not. It's more like uh, replacing certain components than necessarily replacing it entirely. Um, so it's a it's a lower cost percentage than the batteries, for example. So let me ask you the the other major question is: so when you do that TBO, replace the battery, what kind of what kind of money are we talking for that? So again, it's roughly the same as you would think of as a Lycoming or Rotax. So the battery replacements is projected at 20,000 US dollars. Now battery technology is continuing to decrease in price as time goes on. So it's possible that in the future that could be significantly less, maybe even half as much. Wow, so that, that's, that's great because actually it's, it's hard to rebuild an engine, an aircraft in a Lycoming or in for 20 grand. It's, that's on the, on the short side. And then that 450 pound useful yeah well, that's better than a Cessna 150 <laughs> you know full fuel I mean you can't get that much in there yeah the 150 certainly has its limitations as well so have you flown this aircraft uh, not this exact one this uh, this Velis actually belongs to the Florida Institute of Technology in Melbourne Florida so we appreciate them bringing it here to the show for us to exhibit All right. but we do have uh, three more coming to the US next month and uh, we will be able to demonstrate those at our facility in Inverness Florida Cool. So it's not actually uh, 
trainer certified in the U.S., right? That is correct. It, it is experimental in the United States because of legislation at this point in time. And so your, your target is 2023 for that? Well, 2023 is when uh, the FAA has said that the mosaic uh, light sport change to the rules will occur, and we believe that may allow for the Velas and Alpha Electro to fly under the new rules. But uh, that's kind of a wait and see kind of a thing to see well, if the FAA allows that. The FAA, bless their heart, they're, you know, they're somewhat, sometimes just not that predictable. But, uh, well, I think it's really cool. And, and uh, you know, never having to buy Avgas, that, that's, a, that's a pretty good thing. What's the recharge time? It takes about 30 to 40 minutes to recharge it. And uh, that, we think that's a pretty good uh, quick charge. So you do your flight, you know, plug it in, do a debrief. And after a quick potty break, you're ready to go back in the skies. Well, I could see it being a great tainer, I, t I tell you what. Andy, thanks for taking some time and explaining it to us and to our viewing audience out there. I tell you, it's a beautiful day here in DeLand. I'm Joel Hargis with the Florida Aviation Network at the DeLand Sport Aviation Showcase. <laughs>